Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Star Trek Starfleet Academy Starship Bridge Simulator with me, Get Daved. For simplicity, we're gonna call this game STSFASBS. Because that'll make things easier. Is it a good game? No. You were thinking maybe this is a hidden gem. This is a hidden piece of granite. But with a little bit of imagination, we can have a good time. So that's what we're going to do. It doesn't know if we're going to pick male or female, so they're showing both. But remember, our adventure is just beginning. So I have a soft spot for this game. Largely, it's rough around the edges and in the middle. But back in the day, if you wanted to play a space combat simulator and you had a Super Nintendo, your options were Wing Commander and this. And so I played this game actually a fair bit. You can only pick the names of the people who developed the game, I think is how it works. So we're gonna be Mike Everts. That was my go-to. And you know what? Let's let's just go for legend and see what happens. Press select to begin, because that's normal. The game has a bunch of codes. Um, we'll talk about that later though. I have I have a secret to tell you. Alright, we're gonna hit the hay. And now we're gonna go to class. Alright, this is actually just going over basic stuff, but we'll have lots of time to talk about. We can also go to the cafeteria and hang with uh, our fellow cadets. Would you like to take the basic training mission? No. So you actually press up and down to cycle through the different choices. Um, the game never really tells you that, so for a long time I didn't know how to choose choice B. Alright, so they're going to give us four years of education, each year being five tests. Like, these are the tests we write, basically. It's got not bad music. If you like the Wrath of Khan soundtrack, you're in for a treat. And, uh, yeah, they're just, they do all sorts of things. We're in an Oberth for our first year, and then we'll move on to better ships later on. This is our commander. He's gonna teach us. The USS Banting. If you don't know who Frederick Banting is, subtract 100 Get Dave points. He's one of the greatest Canadians who ever lived and helped cure diabetes, or come up with a treatment for diabetes. Because back in the day, like, 2% of all people just died. All right, we've got a radioactive object. All right, don't let it hit the planet. Use your tractor beams to pull it a safe distance away. Destroy it. I'm sure that'll have no long-term consequences. Who cares? An abandoned... Okay. An abandoned probe. This gives you, like, additional information. Okay, so we need to consult our science officer. Check your short-range sensors. Alright, let's rock and roll. This is how the game chugs along. Look at that frame rate. And listen to the slightly nuanced Wrath of Khan music. All right, I'm gonna be winging it. Also, I didn't exactly pay attention to where we were supposed to go, but Beta 2 is the only one on the map. We can do all sorts of cool things to interact with our crew. All right, I think he's our helmsman. He's, uh, he's really salty. All right, now you can see the planet up ahead. That's the entire planet. We're pretty far away though. Uh, we're easily one minute out. A lot of video games don't do a good job showing scale. This one does a really bad job. I mean, a planet is probably like, I don't know, 30 kilometers around in it, maybe 10. So there's a radioactive object. Just to be safe, we're gonna go to yellow alert, put the old shields up, Radiation at dangerous levels, well, we don't have much of a choice. All right, we're pretty close. 
That means we can use the tractor beam. Yeah, I have like this entire game <laughs> memorized. All right. Now we're just hauling it away. I'd like to turn around and show you the planet, but instead all we can really do is spin. Can you even tell I'm spinning? All right, here's a pro tip that they will tell you in the manual. Slow down before you release something from a tractor beam. Also, if you want to do something really terrible. We're actually going to come to a total stop. Or close to it anyway. Object released. All right, uh, you can release an object while you're going full speed and then slam on the brakes and it'll hit you from behind and then you'll die. The only difference I've noticed in difficulty settings is uh, on legendary. All right, uh, collisions are just instantly deadly. Action packed space battles. All right, now we're gonna go back down to yellow alert because star bases don't like it if you go near them at red alert. That's called Panic mongering, maybe. We should return to the star base. You can look up all sorts of stuff. Usually it's not useful, uh, except in missions where it arbitrarily is. Yeah, sensors like always show nothing unusual. Oh, there we go. There they go. They're congratulating me. All right, let's go back to star base 12. We've completed the first mission, everybody. This won't be a long Let's Play series. But you can see, like, the kernel of a lot of good ideas. So, for example, I didn't know you could pick other options, so anytime you hail the starbase, mission over. Even if you just started the mission. And if you fail, you just move on to the next one, and if you have an average score below 70%, you flunk the year and have to do all five missions over again. So that's fun. We're dismissed. Time to talk to my friends. Sorry for the hiccup, just had to cough. This is our cocky first officer pal. He's a lot of trouble. And we got a pretty good burn in on him. Ken Elliott is our, as mentioned, sultry and salty helmsman. I just want to talk. I want to brood. This is our extremely logical science officer. Totally not a Spock derivative. I find human social... Well, that's really the end of the conversation. The girl! She's friendly. Oh yeah, well, I did lay it on pretty thick. And Brady, he's the engineer who worries a lot, I think. Aww. If we work together, anything can be accomplished. Within reason, we are students. WWHPD, what would Harry Potter do? Yeah, I felt like I was right up there. That's the idea. That's Jones, the bartender. He, uh, cracks wise. Yes, the sarcasm's gonna stay this thick. Alright, do we have a real lesson? Okay, keep your cool. Ugh. Wish I were better at that. Oh, get Dave runs pretty hot. And I've come to terms with that. I'm a firebender who wishes he was a waterbender. All right, I think this might be based on a real episode. I've only seen a little bit of the original series and I've tried to remedy that and abruptly stopped. All right, it was exploring unexplored space, so we're gonna go follow it. Uh, I'm just gonna double check that, 15022, okay. It's a Miranda class light cruiser, meaning it has about twice the firepower we have. Okay, maybe they got killed by someone. Let's hope so, cadet. All right. Well, let's listen to the Glorious Wrath of Khan soundtrack. Again, use your imagination and uh, improve it a bit. 
All right, I don't see it on my sensors, so we just have to do some busy work here. Usually you only need to go to short range. Even short range is pretty long range, to be honest. Oh yeah, the way the display, like the sensor indicator in the middle works, so that only shows things around us on a flat plane. If there's an elevation issue, it turns into an arrow. And you can see the yellow puck is the message buoy, and then we've got ourselves a planet that is the white puck. Hmm. I guess we tractor beam this thing? Someone may have said that. I'm not a very good captain. So their communications were damaged and they just decided to go for it. Excellent judgment. I mean, no one will be able to hear us scream, but what's the problem with that? All right, we might have another little hiccup there. I do too. Cough again. Eh, it might just be a seasonal thing. Don't you worry about me. Sometimes in the spring, old get Dave gets a little flemmy. So we've got ourselves another message buoy. Oh. Battle between two space fleets. We can't identify the wreckage. We're fine. Nothing to see here, folks. Let's tractor beam that thing before I crash and die. They found the same debris, moved on to 021. See, considering how antisocial is, Ken's pretty chatty on the bridge. I mean, it's not exactly a thrilling conversation, but it'll do. Put in the old spinorama. Feels like them rotating the wrong way. Either way, you don't really ever have to rotate in this game. I recommend against it. Wreckage of a Federation light cruiser. Unidentified ship approaching. Okay, gonna put the old shields up was attacked by a vessel. They succeeded in destroying the alien craft. Okay. And they're heading towards 17021. And let's just talk to this person and keep our cool. Looking for some missing escape pods. Can you give us a hand? Identify yourselves. This is our space. You should leave at once. There are many enemies about. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go to 17021. So this is a situation where sensor sweep might be useful. This detects an escape pod. All right, let's bump it up to medium and see what we can find. On the left, I only see a cluster of pixels, but that's probably a ship, and on the right is probably a pod. Again, use your imagination. Can we talk to them? I don't want to hail the Kitty Hawk. Ah, whatever. It doesn't seem like that other ship's being hostile towards us, even though there are many enemies about. I guess we just cruise on up and pick it up. That should do. All right, and no one had to die. I don't think we're at red alert. Yeah, we're good. Zip on back to the star base. Give ourselves a pat on the back. A little bit more complexity in this mission. Mission accomplished, I think. I kind of think it'd be funny to find the, the Kitty Hawk passengers and then just leave them there. Buried alive. We're dismissed.
free to go on and kill more time until Endless Space 2 comes out. Hey, time to party! Might enjoy yourself. Yeah, why not? I want to be alone. Worst conversation of all time. Alright. It's a start. Look tired. Hey, you look tired. Whoa. Read between those lines. I've got a bad feeling about this too. No, you know what? Getting nervous can make you sharp. You gotta not dread it. It's helping you get your game on. A mint tea. One mint tea coming right up. All right, what are we gonna learn in school today? Space is big. All right, a real treat to be a Starfleet Cadet. Whiskey of the Freighter Moray. All right, Venturi are attacking and we have to rescue them. Possibly two ships. Okay, and it definitely needs to be rescued. Well, let's go to Eridanius. I should probably call a red alert. Are you okay? Shields down, and then they ran away. That's not right. So we're just going to stay behind and kill people, I guess? Guess we'll get the old guns ready, and let's just check something. Okay, our sensors don't work right now. That looks like a Venturi ship. It actually just looked like a ship. So, you can see that little outline there. Yeesh, we just gotta survive the pass and then we're okay. So that little up arrow is telling us we gotta pull up. The hitboxes are super sketchy in this. Yeah, we have a lot less firepower than they do. Okay, stay on them. Come on, controls. I'm glad we didn't crash. That would have been an automatic death. We might have taken his weapons offline there. Oh yeah, the more I, yeah. Again, the hit detection is so sketchy. Um, like, crashing can happen really easily. Yeah. Prepared antimatter charges. Perhaps strapping them to a freighter with its shields down. We gotta get there. And this, we might get in trouble for having a red alert. Also, our shields to recharge? Yeah, we're good. Venturi for. Oh, I can't handle them right now. Okay. They just happen to have a demolitions team on the way. Okay, how are we holding up? Yeah, we can't handle another engagement like that. The whole lake never gets repaired. I don't even know why it's an option. Um, science, can we go home? Yeah, I mean, there's a Venturi freak that's just gonna... What's the worst thing that could happen? Let's leave now. Because that ship would destroy me. What are we doing here? There we go. Mission accomplished? Hey, aced another one. We're dismissed.
All right, we'll catch up with our classmates, and then... How's it going, Cap? Oh, wow. No, that's, that's bad enough. What are you doing here? Oh, man, he has a tormented past. Yeah, we nearly got killed. Doesn't pull its punches. Sending a science vessel into combat. Another mission is over. Great opener. That, is that it? That was it. Ooh. Another mint tea. Oh. Was that good enough for you, ladies? Well, you don't want to be a minus one. Alright, everybody. Day one of Star Trek Starfleet Academy Starship Bridge Simulator. Had a good time. Let's let's rock through this thing. We can do it in like six days. See you next time, everyone.